Okay, so your problem reads, John travels eight kilom kilometers halfway to his job and remembers that he forgot he left the coffee pot on. He turns around, goes back home, but goes past his apartment by half a kilometer to find a parking spot. After he runs home, turns off his coffee pot, and then he goes back to work. All of John's running took 45 minutes. What was John's velocity in kilometers per minute, and what was his speed in kilometers per minute? So this problem compares the difference between velocity and speed. So let's draw a picture so that we can get a sense of where the world is. All right, so we will take this to be John's house. And we will call that position equal to zero. Now, it says that he travels eight kilometers halfway to his job. So his job is 16 kilometers. And it doesn't give us a direction, so we will say 16 kilometers east. So this is where John works. At 16 kilometers, so that's going to be position 16 kilometers. All right, so let's sort of draw his trajectory. He starts out at his house, x initial is equal to zero. He travels eight kilometers, says, oh crap, I forgot my coffee pot was on, goes back the eight kilometers, but then it says it goes past his house to park his car by 0.5 kilometers. So he parks his car, I'm just going to put the car there, here at x equals negative 0.5 kilometers. So here's where his car is. All right, parks his car, goes into his house, goes back to his car, then goes all the way to work, where he ends at 16 kilometers. All right, so let's just follow that path again. He starts at his house, he travels to a point x equals eight kilometers, eight kilometers away from the origin where we indicated the origin. When he realizes he forgot his coffee pot. So he travels back, but has to go past his house to find a parking spot. Then he runs to his house, runs back to the parking spot, and then till he finishes it. All right. It says all of this takes 45 minutes. So the time of the motion is equal to 45 minutes. So it's asking about speed and velocity. The speed, remember, is equal to our distance, and it's asking about average speed. The distance divided by the total time. Well, what is his distance? We have to keep adding up his lengths. So we go eight plus eight and a half plus a half plus a half plus 16 and a half. And all of that happens over 45 minutes. So we travel the eight plus the eight and a half plus the half plus the half plus the 16 and a half, and we get 34 kilometers, all in 45 minutes. So on average, he traveled 0 0.76 kilometers per minute, his average speed. But what about his average velocity? Now, it's useful as you're learning about conceptual ideas to predict first. So I want you to pause the video and say, all right, do I expect his average velocity to be higher or lower than his average speed? Pause the video. All right. So you make that prediction. All right, well, what is his velocity? And you should always tell yourself why. So always make sure you're, you're talking to yourself through the why of your predictions. All right, so velocity, remember, is displacement per time. So that is going to be our change in position per time. So our final position minus our initial position per time. Well, our final position was 16. Our initial position was 0 all over our 45 minutes. 
and we see that his average velocity was 0 0.36 kilometers per minute. And because he ended to the right of where he started, on average, he moved in the positive direction. So make sure you're paying attention to those directions as well. All right, so distance goes with speed, displacement goes with velocity, and hopefully you predict that since he traveled a smaller displacement, he would have had a smaller velocity. All right, good job.